Lake beds parched and cracked are increasingly common in Hungary's Great Plain region. The once foreboding prospect of desertification here has now become a stark reality. Nobody anticipated the rapid and severe onset of climate change effects here in Hungary. You can see how it's devastated the landscape. Wildlife and the environment are undergoing significant changes. Grass cover is diminishing, forests are drying, and the surface waters are gradually vanishing. And we are severely affected by the effects of climate change, for example, droughts or flash floods or heavy rainfalls and strong uh, storms. When it gets hotter within the Carpathian Basin, there are no big wind uh, streams which can move this hot air quickly out of the basin. Hungarian farmers are coming to terms with the possibility that dry pastures and withered fruits might become the new normal. Global warming is expected to adversely affect a significant portion of Hungary's agricultural land. Droughts have led to the destruction of over half a million crops, resulting in multi-million dollar losses for farmers. Some farm owners say they started adjusting to the changing climate conditions. Peter Shabo is one of a few paprika growers using a technique to combat drought. This involves blending volcanic minerals into the soil to enhance its water retaining ability. One kilogram of volcanic uh, products and I could pour seven liter water, seven liter. And that volcanic water is, is getting just, just bigger. So the volcanic material can keep the water inside for eight or 10 days and the plant still growing. For some farmers, the situation has reached a critical point. Sultan Kulchar often travels to Budapest with his livestock to raise awareness outside of Hungary's government buildings. He says the intense summer heat and prolonged drought transform farmland into barren dunes. We require effective water resource management and improved land management practices to minimize our environmental impact. The Hungarian government plans to increase irrigation system coverage from the existing 90,000 to 300,000 hectares by 2030. However, this will only account to 7.2% of the country's total farmland, which amounts to 4.1 million hectares. The alarming scenes we're witnessing now might just be a preview of what lies ahead for Hungary.